probably one of the best trips to the thrift. This is the best trip to the thrift that I've ever had. guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Melissa and today we're filming a trip to the thrift I am currently just outside of value village my camera is just like not focusing on me today for some reason but yeah so I'm outside of value village and we're gonna go see what we can find and I'm gonna take you guys along ding, 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 cute Tam. I saw this one too. I feel like this is kind of like cool. It can be like a comfy, cute, like a sweater. Oh yeah, this one too. Oh, this is cool. This tartan kind of plaid sweater. I'm definitely looking for a lot more like plaid, not plaid, not plaid. Um, sweaters in general because it is winter time is coming and people are going to want to start to dress warmer so we're trying to pick up more like sweaters and coats and longer sleeves and comfy clothes because it's about to get real chilly in half the world so I guess I don't know half the world probably maybe less than half the world so I found this really cool adidas um, Lakers sweater I thought this was a pretty cool for all you basketball lovers and also found this adidas zip but honestly it, like zip up sweaters don't do as well so I'll probably pass on all of those like I've found a few gems so far but I don't know if it's like picked over or just like not at the good thrift that you know like you never know maybe somebody did come and pick things over but I'm finding things that are like still like somebody who was like gonna go like go through the whole store and buy a lot of stuff would probably not leave such as this Tommy jeans we living for I also found like a bunch of um, graphic tees t-shirts you got some Tommy it is $10.99 though so I might not get that one I got this like cool adidas one and a couple Nike ones also so like you never know and then I also found like this Nike windbreaker and some really really cool Nike tearaways also with like the red and the like navy colorway so I'm not sure if it's really like a bad like I'm not sure if it's picked over just like, a bad thrift day I mean it's not a bad thrift day like you see the things that I've gone but usually like I'm out of the men's section and like my cart is already full but yeah I'm still like still looking like I'm just looking through the long sleeves now um, like we do have like things like this like this chaps like sweater which maybe I'm just like not so much into picking up right now so that's also me it could also be me just like kind of over some things but yeah so if you are one of those people who like to see what I get personally or like what I get in the women's section this store might be a good one for that so we're gonna head over to the shoes shortly after I finish up over here like this is cute this like turtleneck uh, green polo Ralph Lauren turtleneck like this is cute I think this is really cute but like I don't know we'll see remember our saying attack the rack so whenever a rack comes out you attack it because look what I found okay I found this chaps Ralph Lauren beautiful bright ass cherry red um, like fleece sweater and then boom boom also found this bad boy and woman section come through so I see these Supra like red patent leather shoes which look super high fashion so I'm totally into those also just some super old school Adidas what else did I find some Lacoste um, not like anything super interesting in the men's section right now to be completely honest the men's section is kind of sucking so we're gonna move to the women Okay, now we're in the women's shoes. I found these Air Force ones, pretty beat up though, so I'll probably leave those. Also found these super cool Vans though, but leaving those because too expensive. And these Pumas are pretty cool too, but again, $17.99, not 
about to spend that on those. Um, what else did I find here? Nothing else really over here. We have some Tommy sample shoes, but not really a cute style. So, but then, but then, okay. So let me get over to the larger sizes and it is starting to come through. So if you have larger feet, like a nine, I think. What's down here? I didn't even look down here yet because I got super excited. I found these. If you are like a nine to a nine and a half, definitely check out my Depop for these because these are super dope. Also found these are not Adidas. Never mind. Okay, I found a bunch of really cute jackets. I have this yellow one right here, which is just like this banana yellow with these like cool, um, I don't know, it's just like cute with these buttons and stuff. So I found this one. I also found this guy, which is another jacket. It's definitely from the 80s with the shoulder pads and the cinched waist, but I really love the look of it. I tried it on and it actually looked really, really cute, but these jackets are all so freaking expensive, so I'm not sure how I feel about that. Also found this shearling, shearling, whatever type of denim jacket, which is also really cute, but again, $17.90 freaking nine. And then this one, I found this Adidas jacket, which is new with tags, which is pretty freaking cool. Look how dope the back of it is even, like so freaking cute. But again, it is $24.99. So not sure about that, but yeah, I don't know. Some cool pieces. Again, the women's section is coming through for me today, not gonna lie. Bitch, look what I'm coming across now. Look at this sweater though. And these freaking jeans are literally so killer. They're like the this acid wash, but they're kind of like straight leg. They're just so freaking cool. Also, this denim dress, which is brought by like this Cherokee brand, which I usually like their stuff. But like this is the perfect fall denim dress I feel. Oh my god, I'm so shook by just finding this. I'm so happy. Two Tommy sweaters, one trip. Focus. There we go. I was like jinxing myself, I swear. Because now I'm coming across some goodies. Okay guys, I found this Kooji um, top and I honestly just saw like the checkerboard-ish going on here and then I realized that it was Kooji or I don't even know if I'm saying that right but I know this is a really expensive brand if you guys like cannot like identify if this is real or whatever I think I'll probably just get it anyways but just let me know because I know that this brand is pretty pricey I know their sweaters go for a lot so yeah just let me know in the comments down below am I just like losing my mind but I don't know like it is pretty freaking legit. Like even the buttons have like the Kooji like symbols all in it. So just let me know in the comments below. Am I just like tripping or like is this actually a cool find? I just really like the pattern anyway. I forgot to show you guys this Levi jacket. It's light wash. It's all distressed. I don't know if it's from being old or whatnot, but how cute it is. And it has shoulder pads. That's how old it is. This is like an original Levi jacket. So I feel like I have to get it. I'm not sure the price of it because there's not a price on it, but it is just so cute to leave. Okay, so I came back to the bag section and I found this like off the, it's like new and it's like this off the shoulder type of bag, I think. I don't really know, but I think it's just... It's always, it's always good to go back again in recheck sections in case you miss something. So yeah, I found that cutie pie. Now I'm just in the shoes again, just looking around because I saw them restocking the shelf. Okay, I know I said I was leaving, but I have to get these for myself. I think they're so bomb. And then I'm also getting these like necklaces. There's two of them. So one may be up on my Depop and one I'm gonna keep for myself. So if you wanna match with me, but they won't flip over at the same time. But now I'm leaving, I swear. Okay guys, so we are now at Talese or Talize. I should probably figure out how 
um, to say it, but um, the like the parking lot is pretty empty, so we're gonna go check out what we can find. Who knows, maybe there's a lot of people in there, maybe there's not, because it is like 5.30 now, so maybe the businesses around here are closed a little bit more, and that's why the parking lot is a little bit more empty. But we're gonna go check out Talese and see what we can find. I did stop and get a Starbucks, and after a few sips, I feel 10 times more like rejuvenated and rejived and whatever the heck that word is. But like I feel so much better and more alive. And yeah, so we're gonna go see what we can find up in the Talees. So yeah, we're gonna go see what we can find. Okay, go ahead, say um, what you want. A mo that's whack. whack I'm gonna do it. Yeah. That's all you wanna Basically, say? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are you thrifting? Yeah. Yes. What are you guys looking for? Um. Boy shorts, like mini shop here, boy shorts. <laughs> okay, you guys are literally not even gonna believe what I have found in the first aisle of being here. Ba bam, ba bam, ba bam, some freaking Kappa pants. I've found like three pairs in the last two weeks. Two weeks, it's been absolutely cray cray. Also found some good old Tommy Hilfiger jeans, and they are size 34. So I know that a lot of you guys were asking me to get bigger sizes in jeans. Also found some like go-to Adidas track pants, like the wet track pants, and they're kind of cool because they have like this orange all over them. And yeah, some good Levi 501 jeans. I got a few pairs of those Levi 501s, Levi. 518s, but these ones looked so cool like the like I don't know they're kind of acid wash a little bit and then just take a look at this belt this checkerboard white and red belt like literally probably one of my, my best trip to the thrift has been like today like this is insane I've been in two aisles like what I don't think you guys are ready for this I seriously don't think you are ready like we just need to like take this in for just a moment. One aisle, okay? One aisle. Starting off with a champion hoodie with, yeah, like the authentic champion bad boy happening right there. Then we have this dope ass Adidas. It would, if it would focus, that'd be real cool. Then we have this dope ass Adidas windbreaker jacket with the nice colorway going on there. Found this beautiful Club Monaco pullover, which a few of them have already sold up on my Depop. Then I just found this yellow shirt because honestly, I just really, really like yellow and I thought this was hella dope with like how long it is and stuff with the pocket. I think it's really cute and somebody may enjoy it. Then we have this beautiful, beautiful baby blue Tommy Hilfiger, Hilfiger, I'm gonna say from now on because I can't even say the name right. Sweater, it's pretty long, probably could be worn as a dress if you were short. Then, okay, then we have this gorgeous Nautica competition shirt, which is absolutely stunning. Like, oh my freaking gosh. Then we have this gorgeous Adidas navy, or not navy, green with the patch on the sleeve. Look at that bad boy, that is a bad boy. And then we also have this Reebok windbreaker. I love the colorway on this. Navy and red can never go wrong with a navy red colorway. So a bunch of uh, windbreakers will be listed up on my Depop, such as that one. And then finally, we have this gorgeous DKNY jeans sweater. I love these DKNY jeans sweaters. Every time I find them, I have to pick them up. If you saw my last What to Wear Wednesday, you would have seen me style one that's similar. So definitely check it out on my Depop, but like, that is one freaking aisle. Like, I am shook. So happy.
Okay guys, I am actually shaking in my boots right now. I found an authentic vintage Fendi coat that's 100% authentic. Like, like, okay, I can't even breathe. Like, look, this is what it looks like. This is the tag inside of it. It is absolutely beautiful. Okay, it has like the made in Italy in here, what it is made out of, the care tag. It is absolutely beautiful. This is something like I am actually shaking. I actually can't even believe that I found this. I'm actually in awe right now. Like I'm actually have goosebumps. Like this is probably one of my all time best finds ever. Like. I don't know, if you guys know what this would retail for or how much these would go for, please let me know. I know Fendi coats in general are expensive, but what about like a vintage Fendi coat? Please let me know in the comments down below. Guys, I'm so happy you guys are here to witness this with me. Like, I'm excited. I totally forgot to show you guys um, the other stuff that I've been thrifting because I'm about to head out and I was like, wait, I didn't show you guys like half the other things because I got so excited by the Fendi coat. The first couple things that I have here are just some basic polo sport um, striped short sleeves, which I am always into. Also, look at this belt that I found. How freaking sick is this belt? I'm not sure the size of it. Also found this bright pink Lacoste sweater and like, I'm totally into Lacoste. It's new at tags. It looks like an older tag, so that's what I liked about it. Um, the alligator is really big on it. I'm really into pink right now also, if you couldn't tell. Matches with my nails. Then I found, oh, another one of the Polo Ralph Lauren. And then this bad boy, another guest jeans shirt. I found this Adidas, like super uh, big, graphic tee and then I found another uh, authentic champion sweater but it's pink again obsessing over pink right now not sure why. okay and then I also found these really like bright red cherry kind of pants they kind of flare at the bottom which I thought were kind of cute not really flare but just a little bit so I thought these were really cute and then I also found these corduroy Kelvin Klein high-waisted ish pants and um, corduroy is like super in. It was seen all over Fashion Week, so get yourself some corduroy pants because in the fall they will be everywhere. And then we have my Fendi beautiful coat, of course. And then I also have this jumpsuit. I'm not sure if I'm gonna take this or not. It's a denim jumpsuit. It's way too big for me. I'm way too short, but like how cool is this? It's just like buttons up like that. It might look really cute. I think it would look really, it would actually look so dope with like a yellow shirt underneath for the fall time. Um, I also found this like white hoodie kind of sweater that cinches at the bottom. I just love that zipper detail there. And then again, pink. It's like this uh, kind of cardigan kind of sweater thing <laughs> going on. Uh, again, kind of obsessing over pink. Then I just have this yellow, see this would look so cool under the overalls, it's just this Forever 21. And then I have this Nike, like over extra large um, windbreaker, navy windbreaker. And it just says like Nike on the back, super cool. And then this dress is just so freaking cute. It has like, it's a floral pattern. I thought this was so adorable, so I had to pick it up. Um, I feel like somebody would really enjoy this, and honestly, I might enjoy it. And then I also have another Ralph Lauren stripe. I think I should not take too many of those, because clearly I have an issue. And then I have this, like another one of those shearling jackets here, but in like a beige kind of color. And then I also, I literally didn't show you guys anything after that Fendi jacket. And then I also have this yellow one, this yellow trench coat, which is too cute. And then I also have this cheetah print jacket uh, fake fur from Forever 21. So yeah, I have that also. Um, this is going way back, but I picked up a pair of Fila pants also. And just this Tommy Hilfiger figure uh, short sleeve like button down. I think this would be kind of cute to wear with a pair of jeans. 
But yeah, that is all that I have picked up in this trip. It's been a crazy, crazy two thrift stores that I've hit up. I can't believe the stuff that I found from the guest shirt, the Kappa pants, the Fendi um, jacket, just everything in general are just so cute. I'm obsessed with everything that I found. Like I'm literally in love with everything. I'm like shook. I didn't expect to have this great of luck today, com to be completely honest. But I did, like this is probably one of the best trips to the thrift. This is the best trip to the thrift that I've ever had, hands down. Give this video a thumbs up if you did like it. Please check out all my social medias, follow me on my Depop, um, because like all of this stuff will be listed up there, up on there. Also, follow me on my Instagram, it's at Threads Obsessed. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm out, I'll see you guys in my next one. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys next time.